Good morning, everybody. This time we're gonna be talking about where we see our beer and malt beverage permit holders struggling. Thank you for joining us on another YouTube video. Thank you for your comments. Thank, please don't forget to like, subscribe and if you want to receive our news monthly newsletter go to our website thanks yes if you need a tabc permit in the state of texas be sure to contact us hernandez and associates.com we would be happy to work with you so this week as we talked about in the very beginning we're going to be discussing where we're seeing our beer and malt beverage permit holders str struggling okay <laughs> so you think BG, these are BG permit mm -hmm. holders. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be restaurants that offer mm -hmm. beer, malt beverages, um, bars too. And that? you know, I would think mm -hmm. also, I mean, it's anybody in the industry. And I say that mm. because recently one of our clients who is a liquor store, uh, who, uh, you know, and, um, uh, and moves a, a large volume of um, alcohol, you know, of wine, specialty wines, and and distilled spirits. Uh, was also, you know, uh, we'll say audited, and um, so they have to have their records, you know, so they can present them to whatever government agency, if it's the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission or if it's the Texas State Comptroller. Uh, you know, you need to have your your records. Uh, have records, keep records of some kind, you know, and where we're seeing uh, struggling, uh, we're seeing on the wine and malt beverages, uh, because some of them, uh, because they have a particular permit attached to them, they have to keep separate records for the alcohol, and that's, you know, the wine and malt beverage, uh, it's always categorized as alcohol, and then f food, you know, because they have that particular permit attached to their, I'll say BG permit is the beer abbreviation, or that type of permit, um, you know, they could be audited and the Texas Alcohol and Beverage Commission would like to see the sales uh, separate, you know, and if they don't have a proper um, uh, POS system that does that for them, then they'll have to do it manually. And it could be months that they're asking for, you know, so that's a lot of work. Uh, so if, if possible, and you can budget some sort of uh, equipment, a POS system that uh, can do that for you so you don't have to struggle and try to scramble to get all this information together, um, you know, once TABC does request it. So it's really important uh, if, if you can, you know, get that into your budget and get some sort of a, uh, equipment that will do that for you. If you can get a POS system, I think the juice is worth the squeeze. As Stella's saying, if you can budget it in to track these expenses, uh, mm -hmm. just to give a quick little story here, the last week, a taco stand, taco place, and they sold beer and wine and things like that, and they did not have a POS system. They were writing it on pieces of paper. They were taking orders on pieces of paper, and... Now there's nothing wrong with that if that's a system because we have plenty of clients to do that, you know, but their system was so was falling apart at the seams and it made service really rough. And I can't even imagine how they track their alcohol sales if they even could. Um, and it's like, you know, as Estelle said, you get audited and you have no idea what you've sold. Mm -hmm. We won't even say how many clients tell us that they just... So anyways, if you, uh, and you we know. had one not too long ago, a couple of months ago where they were going to have to get their CPA or accountant to kind of figure out what the, you know, reverse engineer it basically mm -hmm. from the number, the sales yes. numbers. And TABC was pressing them for this information and they only give you a certain amount of time to provide this. And, uh, so they were going to have to pay thousands to this, you know, to their CPA slash accountant, uh, to go back and and try to figure out you know get some figures together or whatever um you know and that's not the first time that i've had someone tell me to the, the estimate of what it is not even and, the first time this month that know, month yes and so um i've had a, another client that has a couple of locations 
and uh, hasn't been audited yet, but I told her, and she's been in business for several years. So I'm just, we're just telling you, you know, giving you some information. And like I said, we, we also know that you have to kind of budget, but try to see if you can kind of, that's really important. And if you could stretch it a little bit to get a, a system that'll work, that'll separate it like that, or have some sort of system. You know, if you can't get a POS system, I don't know. There's just anything, just, uh, just to a, keep a system, record of it. Some mm -hmm. sort of record keeping system. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a quick aside here now um, we are not accountants or cpas no. or attorneys no we're just sharing with you as uh permit professionals here what we see mm -hmm. and how we're just trying to save you some time and money in the yes. long run because we want you to stay in business we, we want you to be we don't want uh, you to ultimate. spend those thousands of dollars <laughs> that you had to spend on the cpa accountant to you know go back and try to figure this out and you can use that money and not even chunk know if that's going to work yes and then use that chunk of money to probably get you a POS system, you know, spend mm. that extra money on, on that versus having to pay somebody, you know, to figure it all out for you. If you need TBC permanent state of Texas, Hernandez and associates.com. I'm Evan Salinas. And I'm Stella Hernandez with Hernandez and associates. Thank you again for joining us on another YouTube video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, go to our website and, uh, you know, put your email so we can send you the newsletter and um, if there's anything you want us to cover, let us know. Thank you. Have a great day.